Hola. Hallo. In this video you will definitely see how to finish working with uh, simple game creation to make something like this as you see we have movement I set it only uh, for horizontal uh, movement left right you have rigid uh, bodies uh, with a down move towards down movement let's say towards down it's hard to say in a screen and your goal is to get as many points as you can with uh, movement and uh, timing waiting okay let's see what you need to add uh, to your uh, game project after last lesson to get something like this first I will explain uh, simple things uh, like design in a design you need uh, one line 2d if you set it set it in before lecture you can experiment with width of the line in inspector window and default color I set it to 10 and some grass green but uh, for a line to be good uh, visible on screen set view to show grid uh, click uh, this uh, snap and configure your snipe snap to grid snap 64 by 64 after that you can uh, attach to grid this line and uh, this is one uh, possibility to have straight line without grid uh, you can um, have some bumps because line will not be in exact uh, a horizontal position another design uh, thing uh, is adding one, one 2d node uh, with uh, z index minus one which means under our visible content in this situation because our content is um, usually with uh, z index of zero so under it is minus and uh, add child node add child node uh, for color rectangular for color rectangular just uh, write color rectangular or rectangular and find found find the uh, color rectangular here and create it so this is the design part if you don't know how to resize uh, visible object on a screen uh, for example this uh, you can use uh, this uh, scale and uh, change it uh, as you like it but for scaling it's good to uh, not use uh, grid so this is one uh, of possibilities for uh, setting it other possibility is of course to use your transform for example scale you can change scale as you like and after that uh, use movement to move it in a screen in position you want let's say this so this is part of design and uh, you will have this line uh, straightly put it and you will also have uh, this uh, background for your rigid bodies I suggest uh, to uh, set it uh, all uh, to zero position so set uh, transform to zero position for a rigid body if you have one rigid body add uh, more with duplicate or uh, add more uh, with adding I use adding 
for different setting uh, because if you duplicate all collision shape are working similar but if you want to uh, change or uh, shapes uh, do like this okay when you set it properly so all position to zero this is uh, reset for position with this you can reset position to zero if you set it uh, like this then just click here and um, uh, set uh, object position you will have something like this make sure the objects are not selectable and you will get this here people who are constantly watching my courses know it but uh, I will repeat it sometime again and uh, we need three rigid bodies for a setting of a rigid body gravity scale can be different uh, 0 9 0 3 0 6 and you will have a different uh, time of uh, moving dump uh, for the linear can be 1.2 and uh, other thing I suggest you not to change if you want to make something like this or change to experiment and see what's going on this is all for uh, design and uh, changings in a rigid body and you will have this movement of the rigid body uh, but uh, for a thing uh, of a score you will uh, need to set some uh, parameters in a code and in design in design go to raycast and set your raycast if you see here I don't know do you see it let's okay now you see it uh, in a ray cast uh, you can uh, influence in a scale I set it to 12 to have a wide uh, collision uh, for a ray cast because objects are coming from epsilon this is it uh, also move your ray cast from a central position only with using this movement uh, from a central to up position just to have something like this and put it somewhere in a center add one label under icon so uh, under this icon just uh, click add the child node and um, put one level under it and then you can add few lines in code this few lines are here already variable level variable points after if ray is colliding write points plus equal one I think you've done it before and uh, you can comment previous print for output window and write label dot text text is just a property of this label and just uh, repeat um, points plus str for converting uh, integers to string and points and you will have functional simple game with movement action and also point system here not action to make a movie but action in a game okay as you see you can make a simple game in a go in a godot engine only under nine minutes uh, but maybe more for you and if you make it under one hour and make it something like this you believe me make a great job for a beginner also i thank to all advanced uh, students uh, which are constantly listening my lectures and as i say before uh, nobody use raycast with a sprite to make a game but maybe in the future we'll use okay bye bye